play well? Yeah, we didn't play well at all that game. Um, we again, experience is a big thing. We start. Uh, we brought back the two kids who have played a lot, but other than that, not too many people had too much action last year. So, um, you know, I knew we played better. I thought rebounding was excellent tonight. Made some shots early, got off to the terrific start. And then, uh, you know, they made a couple runs, and we were able to answer every time. They're a senior-laden team, and they look to have maybe more nerves than you guys did, your girls did early. I mean, you scored the first nine points. Did that surprise you at all? Um, yes and no, I guess. Uh, they, they got great kids, but at the same time, they've never really been in this game. Our kids have seen the game. Some of them have played in it. We've been here four years in a row, so it's a great atmosphere. It's so fun to play, and I'm um, just super proud of our kids. Logan Hughes was red hot early, and Logan Ehlers was going to the free throw line 18 times. Those two girls led the way again, and a lot of girls did a lot of different stuff for you. Speak to the overall team performance. Yeah, Logan Ehlers at the free throw line, that's a good thing for us because she's real good there. Um, Logan Hughes had a tremendous game just attacking the hoop. It was super physical out there. Um, you know, our kids just had to fight through it and uh, deal with the conditions. So, you know, at times I thought maybe we were getting a little shaky, but then we just made plays. So I'm just happy for those uh, kids. And McKay hit a couple big threes. And Jessica Jackson, again, the stats probably won't show what she did for us tonight, but she just had a tremendous game moving on defense, rebounds. I don't have those stats, but, I mean, I just thought our kids did a tremendous job on the glass, and that was a big key. Um, we were fortunate they didn't make some shots early. Uh, but, you know, like I said, sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. We made enough tonight, and we're real happy to move on. Yeah, I think anybody who's seen Jessica play knows the importance she has on this team. But nonetheless, number one rated team is next. Uh, long trip to Carroll, Pocahontas area. I'm sure you've done some scouting. What do you What do you know about them? Well, they're pretty good. Um, you know, their return, their experience, they're young and experienced. Uh, they got some kids who can fill it up. They press. They like to play fast. So, you know, we just uh, got to develop a game plan and, and uh, you know, do what we can do. So if we can get good shots, we can shoot the ball with anyone. I really think that. And uh, we just got kids who can shoot. So um, taking care of the ball will obviously be a key. Rebounding again will be a key. Um, I think we have some size, so that will be good. And, um, again, it's going to be a terrific environment. Winner goes to state. So, you know, we got to win one more game and see what happens. Aside from that, uh you don't have any seniors and you're playing in a game like of that caliber. How big is that for the program? Um, you know, it's big. Uh, we'll dwell on that more after the season. Obviously, we, we have kids coming back. But right now, we're just focused on this team. You know, you never know what happens from year to year and who's going to be here. Right now, we know we got 14 kids that will suit up and be ready to play. And, again, they couldn't be more excited. So, um, you know, Saturday at 7, hopefully uh, Shenandoah Faithful can come. Coach, great job. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you very much. Like. It's amazing. I'm so excited. Um, we just really wanted to get revenge on Atlantic because obviously we lost to them our, uh, in the earlier season. The main reason was because, I don't know, we just, we've gotten a lot better throughout the season. Tell me about your game tonight. It seemed like a lot was working for you, especially uh, you're getting wide open layups there. How are they losing you? I don't know. I just kept trying to kept trying to kept trying to drive on them, and it was working, I guess. And uh, I just kept shooting, and they're going in, so that was working. Number one rated team is your next opponent. Uh, what's it feel like to get an opportunity to play the big dog there? Um, you know, we just got to go out and play our game. We don't need to worry about oh, they're number one, but I mean, we just need to go out and play. Logan, congrats on a great game tonight, and uh, good luck Saturday. Thank you. How's it feel? Um, it's incredible. We um, lost to Atlantic earlier in the season, and to come out, beat them on our home court, it just feels amazing, and now we're looking forward to the next game. You guys came out and really didn't look to have any nerves in such a big game atmosphere, and they, a senior-laden team, maybe did appear to have a few nerves early. What do, what do you take from that? I mean, were you guys even nervous at all? Um, yeah, I definitely think we were nervous, knowing that they were good, and so we just came out and we scored really quick and that just kept us going throughout the game. A lot of your game was at the free throw line tonight. I think 15 of your 18 points were at the line. Um, when you go to the free throw line that many times, uh, how do you kind of keep your focus? Sometimes it might get a little monotonous. Yeah, um, I just know that free throws win games and so you just have to step up to the line confident and knock them down. Well, you get the number one rated team in the states uh, in a regional final. Um, what are your thoughts on getting a chance to try to go in there and knock off the number one team? 
Um, we're definitely up to the challenge. It's going to be a good game, and we're ready to play. Logan, great job. Appreciate it. Good luck Saturday. Thank you.